In this problem, we're being asked to give a rough sketch of this function. Let's go ahead and work through it. So the key thing is to remember what function you're going to be shifting. So the parent function or the mother function is y equals 1 over x squared. This is the one that we're going to be shifting. And so what does this look like? Well, here's the y-axis and here is our x-axis. And this one has uh, two vertical asymptotes. It has one right here along the y-axis and it has a horizontal one right on the x-axis. And the graph, at least to me, reminds me of a volcano. It's erupting like this, look. There it is, there's a volcano. You see how they're both just going up. <laughs> so we just have to figure out how to shift this. So whenever you subtract a number from an x value in a function like this, you think you're going left, but no, no, it's backwards. We're actually going right. So we're gonna shift this right five. So we're gonna take this entire picture and shift it to the right by five. So here is the y-axis and here is the x-axis. So x, y, and our horizontal asymptote isn't really gonna shift, right? We have a horizontal line and we're shifting it right by five, so it's still gonna be a horizontal line. But our vertical asymptote is certainly gonna go over to five. So one, two, three, four, five. So it started at zero, right? So if you go right, it'll end up at five. So there's our beautiful vertical asymptote. And now we can draw our volcano function. It'll look something like this. It's erupting. <laughs> there it is. And there's our perfect, beautiful graph. Um, just to make sure you got it, if instead it was one over x plus five parentheses squared, remember it's backwards. Whenever you add to the x, it's backwards. You think it's right, but don't know it's left, etc. So here we're adding five, so it's gonna be left five. If you take one over x squared and you add five to this entire y value here, then you're gonna go up five. And if instead you take one over x squared and you subtract five from the y value, then you're going to go down five. So as long as you memorize you know, this here and you know the shifts, uh, this problem is not too bad. I hope this video has been helpful.